good morning students in this session i will solve some important 3 and 5 marks questions see the first question a bill of rupees 1460 was drawn on 1st april here year is not mentioned so for 6th month that means bill period equal to 6 months after date and was discounted at 5% per annum for rupees 1451 that means discounted value also given on what date was the bill is discounted you need to calculate the date of discount okay see a bill of rupees is given so phase value f is equal to rupees 1460 and date of drawing okay date of drawing is equal to 1st april okay and bill period okay it's mentioned as six months okay that means half year and discounted at five percent per annum rate of interest r is equal to five percent that is equal to 0 0.05 okay while substituting you need to take in the decimals okay and discounted value is given discounted value is equal to rupees 1450 one after discount you are getting this much value that is discounted value okay you need to calculate date of discount okay date of discount equal to question mark okay first see calculate the legally due date okay remember this procedure first you need to calculate legally due date legally due date what's the form of the legally due date is equal to date of drawing plus bill period plus grace period okay this implies date of drawing 1st april okay 01 april means 04 year is not mentioned take it as 0 okay and bill period equal to 6 months given here month equal to 6 and grace period equal to 3 days okay then see if you count legally due date equal to legally due date equal to 4 10 okay year is not mentioned okay that means legally due date is 4th october okay now see legally due date equal to 4th october okay next to see since the question is discounted data okay next calculate unexpired time legally due date we have next calculate unexpired time phase value is given as well as discounted value is given we have the formula discounted value is equal to phase value minus bankers discount okay this implies uh, we have discounted value right bd is equal to phase value is equal to rupees 1460 minus discounted value discounted value is equal to 1451 this implies bankers discount is equal to rupees you can see it's equal to 9 rupees okay to calculate t that is unexpired time use the formula bd is equal to ftr okay this implies bd 9 is equal to phase value 1460 okay into t that you need to calculate r rate of interest in decimals it's equal to 0 0.05 okay then if you simplify this one you will get 9 divided by 73 now see t is the unexpired time it is always in years right to calculate discounted data time period must be in days right if it is in years means it little bit it's little difficult to calculate so convert it into days is equal to 9 by 73 into 365 to convert into years dividing by 365 to convert into days into 365 okay if you use the calculator your al is approximately equal to t is equal to 45 you'll get 45.09 or 01 like that take it as 45 okay t is equal to 45 days why days because you are multiplying by 365 year will be converted into days okay now see we have t unexpired time is equal to 40 days 45 days is there okay then what is a discounted data discounted it means see suppose 
नाइन फोर टू थाउजेंड टेन डेट ऑफ ड्रॉइंग एंड लीगली ड्यू डेट इज इक्वल टू नाइन सिक्स टू थाउजेंड टेन ओके दैट मीन्स टू मंथ्स देर ओके इट्स अ लीगली ड्यू डेट ओके बिफोर दैट सपोज नाइन फाइव टू थाउजेंड टेन बिल इज डिस्काउंटेड ओके देन सी अनएक्सपायर टाइम इज this date to discounted date to legally due date we call it as unexpired time and it is denoted by t now see what you are getting you are getting unexpired date is equal to 45 days okay unexpired time is equal to 45 days that means uh, date of drawing discounted date and legally due date okay here discounted date to legally due date 45 days are there okay then what how to find the discounted date discounted date is nothing but 45 days before the legally due date see here discounted date to legally due date 45 days are there that is unexpired time so we know legally due date then how to calculate discounted date to calculate a discounted date you need to go back 45 days okay from the legally due date from the legally due date if you go 45 days back you will get discounted date because see, discounted date and legally due date difference equal to 45 days so from the legally due days if you go 45 days back you will get discounted date clear okay use that data since t equal to 45 days this implies bill was discounted bill was discounted 45 days before the legally due date okay bill was discounted 45 days before the legally due date okay hence hence we calculate backwards to find the discounted date okay if you want uh, inside the bracket you write date of drawing discounted date discounted date legally due date okay now see difference between discounted date and legally due date is equal to 45 days okay so to calculate discounted date from the legally due date you need to go back 45 days okay if you go 45 days back from the legally due date you will get discounted date okay now see legally due date okay it's equal to 4th october means see that means from the 4th october okay you need to go back how many days 45 days back okay you need to move 45 days back from 4th october that means we from the 4th october it starts in october how many days remaining four days remaining back okay that means in the september how many days are there september 30 days okay 30 plus 4 34 okay still 11 days are remaining right 4 plus 30 days in september okay then see what month will come august because you are going back right august okay august we know 31 days are there okay but if you take full 31 days how much you will get 30 plus 30 60 65 days will come but unexpired time is only 45 days right so in august how many days you need to take only 11 days okay that will give 45 days okay see so in august you need to take only 11 days okay from the backwards clear what i am saying in the august you need to take 11 days from the backward that means bill is discounted in the 
month august okay and so number of days in august equal to 31 days are there from the 31 day from 31 go back 11 days okay minus 11 you will get 31 minus 11 means it's equal to 20 okay that means august 20 that is bill is discounted on august 20 Okay, bill is discounted and August 30. Okay, once again see after calculating unexpired time that you know how to calculate. Here see unexpired time equal to 45 days is given. So to calculate discounted days from the legally due date you need to go 45 days back. Okay, because time difference is 45 days here you can see. Okay, 45 days back from where 4th October is the legally due date. 4 days in October. Okay, we are going back. Okay, back means which month will come? September. In the September, you can take full 30 days because September has 30 days. 34 only you are getting. Okay, but in August, you need to take 11 days in the backward direction. Okay, that means see, 30, 34 plus 11 is equal to you will get 45 days clear. So, in the August month, bill is discounted, but 11 days back, right? Because in the August 11 days are included, you need to go back 11 days in the August. That like 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. See how many days? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So 11 days go back. Okay, that means up to 21 you need to subtract. Then which date will come? 20 will come. Okay, so here see 11 days subtracting from the August month, 30 days subtracting from the September month, and October you are subtracting 4 days. Okay, 34 plus 11, 45. If you subtract this much days, then you will get see August 20. So bill is discounted on August 20. See the next question. A bill of rupees 5000 drawn on 10 4 1998 at 3 months was discounted on 1 5 1998 at 12% per annum. For what sum was the bill is discounted and how much has the banker gained in this? Okay, a bill of 5000 that means face value of the bill equal to rupees 5000. Okay, date of drawing. Okay, it's equal to 10 4 1998 bill period okay bill period equal to three months given okay and discounted date is given discounted date discounted date is equal to 1 5 1998 okay rate of interest equal to 12 percent equal to 0 0.12 in decimals for what sum was the bill is discounted that means discounted value equal to question mark and how much has the banker gained pg value equal to question mark okay here see first you need to calculate unexpired time t equal to question mark for dv or bg that formula includes t right so you need to calculate unexpired time okay to calculate unexpired time see discounted date is there then you need to calculate legally due date unexpired time means the time gap between discounted date and legally due date okay between this some time gap is there right that is t unexpired time so first calculate legally due date legally due date equal to date of drawing is 10 4 1998 okay it's a date of drawing Okay, plus bill period bill period is three months okay bill period plus grace period is three days okay it's a grace period okay then if you add it's equal to 13 7 1998 13 7 1998 is the legally due date okay then what is t okay here 
discounted date discounted date is equal to 1 5 1998 okay therefore t is equal to number of days from 1 5 1998 to 13 7 1998 that means time day that means number of days remaining from discounted date to legally due date that is unexpired time right that is discounted date is 1 5 1998 to unexpired time equal to 13 7 1998 okay this time gap is called unexpired time okay now calculate unexpired time okay see you need to calculate 1 5 1998 to 13 7 1998 okay then see that is fifth month means it's equal to may okay may how many days are there one days is excluded right okay may 31 days okay may actually 31 days but one may it is discounted that day is not included so 30 days remaining okay in may 30 days remaining okay then june okay june is equal to again 30 days okay in the month of june how many days are there june equal to 30 days only there that full 30 days included okay then july okay july is equal to see 13 7 1998 is the legally due date that means in july 13 days are included okay that means july how many days are there 31 days are there in 31 days only 13 days are remaining okay since it's a legally due date then how many days are remaining total is equal to 30 30 60 10 70 73 days okay therefore t is equal to 73 days equal to 73 divided by 365 years it's equal to you can keep it in decimals or you can simplify this fraction you can get t is equal to 1 by 5 year okay then see given rate of interest equal to 12 percent it's equal to 0 0.12 is given okay now apply the formula bd bd is equal to we know ftr okay bd equal to ftr why I'm calculating BD because we need to calculate discounted value as well as bankers gain okay so BD equal to FTR this implies BD bankers discount equal to phase value of the bill phase value is 5000 into T is 1 by 5 into rate of interest is 0.12 okay if you simplify this one you will get BD value is equal to rupees 120 okay then dv formula discounted value is equal to f minus bd okay why i am calculating bd because to calculate dv you can apply the formula f minus bd this implies discounted value equal to 5000 minus bankers discount equal to 120 rupees this implies discounted value is equal to rupees 4880 okay then what you have to calculate bg is equal to you can apply the formula f into tr whole square divided by 1 plus tr okay why i am applying this formula because see bg formula 1 bg is equal to bd minus td is there okay or bg formula one more formula bg is equal to td into tr okay so what is td true discount to calculate true discount you need to apply the formula ptr we want present value right so you need to calculate first present value then you need to calculate td then you need to substitute in the bg formula it's a little difficult so if you remember this formula you can apply directly formula bg is equal to f into tr whole square by 1 plus tr this implies 5000 okay bg bankers gain is equal to 5000 into tr 1 by 5 into 0 0.12 whole square okay tr whole square divided by 1 plus 1 by 5 into 0 0.12 okay then simplify this one if you simplify this implies bg value bankers gain is equal to rupees 
2.822 or see you can do what you have to do first find p value present value okay you know fy1 plus tr formula okay then after that then find td okay then apply the formula bg is equal to bd minus td see two steps are included right okay it's little difficult so if you remember this formula directly apply the formula bg is equal to f into tr whole square divided by 1 plus tr okay you will directly get the answer